Hello, hello, people. How are you doing? I bet you're doing great. Um, boy, that was quite something, eh? Such a drop, such a panic. And altcoins also really dropped hard versus Bitcoin. It peaked out at 90 billion and then it bottomed at uh, 58 or so. As yeah, and and now it bounced back to 68 uh, billion. And um, I think I'm planning to sell the bounce a little because. At the peak, I only had like 30% fiat. I went when the market cap was 90 billion or 85 or so. I had only 30% uh, fiat eh? and then 70%, uh, sorry, 30, yeah, 30 fiat and 70 crypto. And now, because the market dropped, that 30% has become 35%. But I should have sold more, of course. Eh? Um, and, and and I think right now there the chances have increased that that the that the bear market has started of course eh? uh, that's possible uh, I still think that there is a very good chance that it will uh, go up more over the next few weeks uh, to a new high and, and and I still think we can see uh, 3,800 4,000 as the all-time high before it corrects for many months and, and I do think that, that, that the Ethereum and, 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 and many altcoins can also see new highs in, in, in this bubble. Uh, but um, it's becoming, of course, much less certain right now. I mean, I thought the odds were good for that. Right now, I would say the odds are still there, but I would only dare to give it a 50-50% a chance. Uh, and so... I'm planning to sell some more so probably right now I'm like 35% fiat and then 65% crypto because well actually the market didn't drop much yet eh? if it was nice the peak was 90 billion and we're now at 68 billion that's like 20% drop that's nothing eh? it can become much worse if, we, if the bear market starts after a couple of months it will be down well, it will be down to, to it will it will bottom out around uh, twenty to thirty billion. Eh? So so that's cut in half, and then again fifty percent off. Eh? So 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 that's what your portfolio will do too. Uh, if if it's all in crypto or everything that's in crypto today, well you know you will have left about thirty percent or so of that, and that is if you don't buy anything on the way down, eh? <laughs> which is very difficult because you always see new lows and new lows, so you start buying. And then that goes down too. Everything you invested in it also goes down. So a bear market is not fun, and uh, and and and, 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 and I'm gonna try to take out a little bit more fiat uh, from this, uh, just in case. Uh, and um, um, but still remain quite. Uh, I invested quite big, so probably I will boost it up to from 35 to maybe 45 fiat something like that and then um, well, actually I should do 50 I should do 50 so let's see what I can sell but yeah especially altcoins eh? I mean if the bear market starts they're gonna crash a lot more than than, than, than Bitcoin and, but of course if the bull market continues they're gonna go up a lot more than Bitcoin too so it's it's already it's a double-edged sword but but uh, I have a, I, my portfolio have a, a lot of different coins and, and, and it's a great time to, to, to get rid of the coins that you or at least scale them down to proportions that you don't it doesn't matter very much anymore what happens to the coin uh, for your uh, uh, for your future huh? if it indeed ends up failing then well you didn't lose much so so that's certainly the kind of things that I want to achieve uh, on the bounce. And so uh, I think the low is somewhere around thousand eight hundred dollars or so. I, I haven't checked. And so from two two thousand eight hundred to maybe thousand eight hundred. I'm not looking at the Polonix USDT, of course, because that's not a, a fair representation of reality. Many people are stuck there with Bitcoin. So if they want to go to fiat, they can only buy USDT. So the the supply is much sm smaller than than the demand. And so 
prices um, have have dropped a lot more there um, of Bitcoin valuations, but that's not representative. I, I look at Bitstamp and Kraken, and and there the low has been. I have to check, but I think it was thousand eight hundred or so. And um, and so yeah, now it's back up at two thousand two thousand hundred. Um, but it, in two days, eh, it collapsed basically the first day from 1800 to, uh, 2800 to, to, uh, to 2200 and then back up to 2500 and it dropped to, from 2500 to 1800 or so and now it's back up to 2100. So I think whatever the low will be, uh, because we, what, like a flash crash can take a couple of days. So it's only two days now. It, on average, I, I shared a tweet from someone else also. It, it can take three, four, five days before the low is found. And then from there, it goes back up for a couple of days. Uh, if we're in a bear market, uh, uh, or maybe, and, uh, and then, and that's, that's the bounce uh, uh, before it drops more. Uh, and so, So yeah, I hope I hope I can sell a little bit more, um, and uh, I, I think that's wise to do, especially if you have not sold anything. Then then you should really make the mental exercise to imagine how it feel, how it would feel to lose well, yeah, eighty ninety percent of your crypto portfolio over the next few months. And if you can't stand that feeling, you should act now because that's possible. Uh, so, um, yeah, I don't know what else I can say. Uh, well, I do know what else I can say. I really fucked up on my calls. Eh? I did so well. And, uh, and, and, and I was predicting 2,300 and then maybe on the high end, uh, close to 3,000. Eh? That was really what I've been saying for months. And then I changed my mind the last day. And I say, no, no, it's going to go higher. 3,800, 4,000 and it looks like that was the wrong, the wrong call so I fucked it up at the end but the jury is still out I still stand by this uh, new call uh, and I think it's important a call to make because everything depends on that if you really think the odds are much higher that the bear market has started then you should really like sell the majority of your crypto and have only a minority uh, exposed to crypto of your portfolio. And I don't think that's the case. And the reason why is that I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I should probably give this a much higher probability that it has ended. So okay. I'm gonna keep it uh, at this and um, thanks for watching guys and thanks so much for all your support and, and I really love all the comments you guys are placing. It's very interesting for me too. I really, for some of you guys give great feedback and really help me in, in, in getting a better view on the market. So um, have a great day, bye.